We have the Hi-Fi Men Sendora versus the Ananda from a non-audio file that is just looking for an awesome audio experience. Hey guys, my name is Matt Piccarelli. This is Intuitive Review, reviews from the heart. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel to help support it. So I've been curious about the Sundar for a while now and figured why not compare it to the Ananda, which seems like a step up. The Sundoras are categorized as an audiophile headphone that you can get without breaking the bank. Most people are looking for great sound at a reasonable price. I think the Sundora does this very well, but you'll need to add accessories like a DAC and an amp to really get it going. At the time of making this video, the Sundoras go used for about $300 and the Ananas go for about $600 with a one year warranty. Are the extra features on the Ananda worth double the price? Or is the Sundara the better price per performance? I'll give you my take on these. Let's get into it. I love the look of the Sundara. It has all black color and it has a retro vintage looking vibe to it. It feels similar to the HE560s on my head. It has the same headband and ear cup design. So I'm used to that feel on top of my head. I like the traditional headphone design on my head. I can wear them for long periods of time without any issues. The Sundara has a crystal clear, high quality sound. If you've never heard a high end headphone like this, these will definitely blow you away upon first listen. The Sundara as a standalone product sounds amazing. As your first high end headphone purchase, this would be a great buy. I always recommend listening to highest resolution possible or MQA quality from Tidal to get the best listening experience. You will definitely notice a difference. The low end seems to be more emphasized and loose in comparison to the Ananda. You will definitely feel the bass more in these. The mid to high range seems to be normal on these headphones. I noticed an improvement with space and depth when I listen to live vocals or acoustic music. Stereo imaging is nice and instrument separation is good. I think it gives a good presentation of a feeling like the band is playing live in front of you. Overall, I think the Sundora has a fun sound. They're easy to listen to and offer more detail in music compared to others in this price point. I wouldn't say it's a balanced reference sound, but I think it appeals to the consumer market that is looking for a higher quality alternative to the Bose, Sony, and Beats headphone market. The Hi-Fi Man Ananda has a cool futuristic looking design that is nice to look at. The headband design is similar to the Sundara, but the egg-shaped ear cup design is not my favorite on these. It adds a weird pressure to the back of my ears after listening for a few hours. The Ananda takes what the Sundara is trying to do, but takes it to the next level. It has a more crystal clear balance reference sound. Nothing seems emphasized in the sound profile. The Ananda does seem more present and upfront, and it did bring out more minor details in my music. The low end feels tighter and more focused in comparison to the Sundara. I think this also adds emphasis to the bass, which makes it slam more. The sub bass also seems more present, but not emphasized. The stereo imaging and sound stage seem a tiny bit wider on the Ananda, which makes your music more 3D like and adds depth. It's not a night and day difference, but when you compare them directly, you can notice the tiny differences. Question of the day, what type of audio gear reviews would you be interested in the future? Let me know in the comments below. I think I found an issue when I started reviewing headphones is that they all sound good, but when I compare them directly, they don't sound as good to each other. I think for the price, they are both great headphones and can offer a high quality listening experience that will last for many years. Now, is the Ananda worth double the price? If you're a first time buyer with no prior listening experience, I think you could save your money and put it into a DAC and amp setup. If you're a Sundora owner looking for an upgrade into higher quality audio, then I would say go for it. I think the Sundaras are a great headphone for general listening. If you're looking to use them as a reference headphone, I think the low end is a little bit emphasized, but that's what makes them fun. I'm going to keep this in door for gaming because I think the higher quality sound with the low end emphasis makes a better listening experience. If you're on a budget and want high quality sound, go with the Sundara. With all that being said, you can demo each of these headphones through a audio, which offers a 45 day return policy, free shipping, price match guarantee, and a two year a audio warranty. You can't beat that deal. Links are in the description below to help you get started. And if you found this video useful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel to help support it. Every little bit counts. Thanks for watching.